Base launch check and countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, my name is Krista Rhodes. I am a structures engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 29th launch of the year and 228th overall mission to date. On your screen is a live view of our Falcon 9 rocket on Space Launch Thanks Complex 40 in Florida, awaiting liftoff at 3.31 a.m. Eastern Time. At T minus four minutes and 44 seconds, the range is green and ready to support, and weather is looking good. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. And we should be seeing these strong back clamp arms opening up shortly in about 15 seconds Strong back retract has started. And as you can see on your screen, the clamp arms are now beginning to open up beneath the second stage. And after they open up fully, you'll see the strong back start moving away from the vehicle in preparation for takeoff. And the strong back, also referred to as the TE, or transporter erector, is the large structure that you see next to Falcon 9. We use it to raise it to its vertical launch position and route power, umbilicals, and telemetry to the vehicle and payload before they're ready to go on their own internal power. And coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. And we can expect stage one liquid oxygen loading to conclude in about stage five seconds. Stage one, last load complete. At T minus three minutes, Falcon 9's first stage is now fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen, and we're now awaiting completion of LOX loading on the second stage in about 50 seconds. And the white clouds that you see circling around the vehicle are completely nominal, and they're the result of our super chilled liquid oxygen coming into contact with relatively warm ambient air at the launch site turning the liquid oxygen back to its gaseous state. And again, we're currently waiting for stage two lock load completion, which should conclude at T minus two minutes. Stage two, lock load complete. And with that call out, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. The booster or first stage of the rocket you see on your screen is flying for its seventh time today, having previously supported CRS-24, Eutelstat Hotbird 13F, OneWeb-1, one, SCS-18 and 19, and two Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, this booster will land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitop. Falcon 9 is in startup. 
And you, as you just heard the call out, Falcon 9 is now in startup, meaning that the flight computers have now taken over the launch countdown. In just a few seconds, we should hear our launch director, or LD, give the final go for launch. LD, go for launch. And the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 56 Starlink satellites into space. T-minus 30 seconds. Vehicles pitching down range. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida in, at 3.31 a.m. Pacific Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses telemetry as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere during its flight today. More detail and pressures are nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Falcon 9 is now supersonic, meaning it is traveling faster than the speed of sound. And coming up next, we will be hearing the call out for max Q. And there was the call out for max Q, which again is when the vehicle experiences its largest amount of external stresses. And we are about one minute away from a series of events being Miko, stage separation, SCS-1, and then fairing separation. MECO stands for Main Engine Cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. And during stage separation, the first and second stages will separate from each other. And the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin vacuum engine to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. Let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession. You can expect those to start in about 20 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, Stage Sep, and SCS-1. We're now coming up on fairing separation for the second from the second stage, just a few seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. Fairing separation has been confirmed. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for its eighth time and the other half flying for its ninth time. Both the first and second stages are following nominal trajectories. And currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. And our MVAC engine, as you can see on your screen, is attached to our second stage and continuing its burn, which will last around another four minutes. And although we don't have views of the first stage right now, the vehicle is still healthy and successfully making its way back to our landing site.
Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. And as a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. And as an update for our first stage, it is still performing nominally and still making its way back to our landing site. And a successful return of this booster. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. A successful return of this booster again will mark SpaceX's 189th landing to date. And as I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 228th mission overall and the 29th mission just this year. And coming up next in this mission is entry burn on the first stage, which, will, which is the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing. And we can begin, expect that entry burn to begin at T plus six minutes. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's the call out for stage one entry burn. And stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines numbers one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. And now we finally have first stage views and it's currently making its way back to our landing site. Stage, stage two, one entry burn shut down. Stage two FTS has saved. And you just heard the call out, the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And coming up next is our landing burn on the first stage, which will be the second and final burn in preparation for landing. And stage one has one more burn left to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas. Meanwhile, our second stage is still continuing its first burn and performing nominally. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. We can expect our landing burn to begin around T plus eight minutes. Stage one transonic. And once that burn begins, it's gonna last around 20 seconds. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. We can now see our drone stage ship. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed stage for the seventh time. We are now coming up on second engine cutoff. Expected loss of signal cable. And back shut down. And there you heard the call out we were waiting for Seco one and nominal orbit insertion. We now have been able to confirm both SECA-1 and nominal orbital insertion and confirmation of a good orbit for our 56 Starlink satellites. Today's landing marks our 189th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. With confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that will wrap up our coverage for today.
Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.